Uh, so the most common errors with veterinarians is that they want to refer things immediately to us, which, you know, I understand that you know, there's always a lot of anxiety and fear that comes along with the respiratory distress cat, especially because by the time cats are in a true crisis, they could die at any time. They're not as bad as birds, but they still definitely can uh, have a higher mortality rate. Um, the problem is if you don't stabilize them and just try to send them, though, they're in a much worse state by the time they arrive at with, you know, to us. Um, so I would urge veterinarians to try to do some basic stabilization at their clinic before they send the cats. That involves oxygen, giving them a little bit of time, and then, you know, honestly, if you're not sure what you're dealing with and you're afraid to radiograph them because they are so unstable, you can do things like giving them a dose of Lasix in the event it is cardiogenic pulmonary edema, trying to tap their chest in the event it is a pneumothorax or a pleural effusion. You can try giving a dose of a bronchodilator as well. I mean, a single dose of bronchodilator, a single dose of Lasix. If you have a strong suspicion it's feline asthma, which actually I forgot to mention earlier is a common differential, um, you can give a single dose of steroids. Um, so a single dose of anything is not going to hurt the cat and it can potentially will help them. So by the time they get to us, they at least will make the car ride more safely and be in a better place by the time they arrive to us. Um, and then as far as the students go, just again, calm down, assess the animal, and you know, think about what your possible differentials are before you send them to us. I mean, that's the big thing, is just don't throw them in the car and send them. Try to stabilize them at least by doing a few things in your clinic first.